Mr. Penguin, could you teach what is a NPN sensor and a PNP sensor? I'm going to use some sensors in a machine I'm designing, so I checked a catalog to find the sensors. The catalog says that there are two kinds of sensors, which are NPN sensors and PNP sensors, but what are they? How should I connect them to a PLC? Okay. I'll answer the questions in this lecture. By the way, did you know that these sensors are not transistors? Eh, really? Then why the symbols of these sensors are drawn like this? It's because the sensors work, as if they were transistors. Actually, I don't even know how a transistor works. Don't be worried. I'll explain one by one. I'm not going to give you difficult explanation about transistors. I'm going to give you only basic useful knowledge about transistors, for mechanical engineers. The left symbol is so called. NPN. Please pay attention to, this arrow. You can memorize the symbol with this phrase. Never, points, in. While the right symbol is, PNP. Paying attention to, this arrow, you can memorize the symbol with this phrase. Points, in, permanently. It's easy to memorize isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. But how do they work? As you can guess, transistors are used in many ways. However, in the case of these sensors, it's okay if we think about only one function of transistors. Because they are just switches. A proximity sensor is just a switch, because it detects whether an object exists or not. A pressure switch is a switch as well. It just detects whether pressure is normal, or abnormal. A photoelectric sensor is also just a switch, right? I agree. So, how does a transistor work, if it is used as a switch? It's very simple. If electric current flows between B and E, C and E get connected with each other, as if there was a jumper wire, that connects C and E. So, electric current can flow, between C and E. And actually, this current is used as main current. I'll explain it a little more later. This is how a transistor works, as a switch. You can regard this current, as the button of a switch. If you release the button, the connection between C and E, will get disconnected. So, even if you try to apply electric current, through C E line, the current cannot flow. I understood that how a transistor works as a switch, but how can I actually use it? Please take a look at these circuits. They are not actual circuits, but let me use them for now, because they help us understand how a transistor is used, as a switch. Are you going to explain the actual circuits later in this video? Yes of course. So, don't be worried. Let's see how they work. Actually, the system is very simple. If you push down the switch like this, electric current flows between B and E. And then, the main current flows between C and E. Eventually, the lamp turns on. Yeah, the system is very simple as you said. But I have a question. Is it okay if I put the lamp in the opposite side? Thank you for giving the important question. Actually, you must not put a load at the position, if you use transistor as a switch. Why? 
What would happen if the circuit were like this? I'm not going to go to the details but, it would become troublesome, to control the amount of, this current. The amount of the current is important, because it controls, the amount of this main current. What I'd like to say is that, even if you push down the button, this current may not flow properly. And which means that, this main current may not flow properly. Well, I'd like to know more about it, but it seems difficult to understand it 100%. Take it easy. The only important thing I'd like you to keep in mind in this lecture, is that, a load is connected to a collector. Sorry, I forgot to tell you but, C stands for a collector. Did you understand how to use a transistor as a switch? Yes. I understand how it works. And also, the position of a load is important. A load should be connected to a collector. Could you teach me how I can actually wire a NPN sensor and a PNP sensor? Okay. I'll give you the idea of how you can connect a NPN sensor. I took a photoelectric sensor as an example. Firstly, let me deform the shape of the sensor. The sensor looks like a transistor. Can I move the sensor to the diagram? Yes you can. Thank you. I'll add something inside the sensor. Let's confirm how the sensor works again. If something is in front of the sensor, the contact inside the sensor closes. And then this electric current flows between B and E. As we already learned in this lecture, the current triggers the main current to flow. Eventually, the lamp turns on. Thank you. I clearly understand how the sensor works. Can you draw how a PNP sensor works? Yes. Here it is. Is this correct? Yes it's correct. However, the actual diagram is a little bit different. I'll show you the actual wiring way. This is a diagram inside a NPN sensor. We are going to connect the sensor to a PLC. PLC. I often hear of it, but I don't have enough knowledge about it. That's no problem. The system is very simple. This is a common terminal. The terminal is connected to the other terminals. That's why it is called, a common terminal. Let me connect the common terminal to, positive 24 volts. If we connect number 2 terminal to 0 volt, electric current can flow. And then the lamp turns on. Which means, the PLC is notifying the machine that, number 2 is on. Thank you. I understand the system of a PLC. I'd like to make the electric circuit. What I meant is, if the sensor turns on, number 2 lamp in the PLC turns on. How can I make this situation happen? That's easy. Do you still remember the important thing, when it comes to a transistor as a switch? Yes. A load is connected to a collector. Right. You connected a load to a collector. Let's move on to the next step. Please take a look at, this arrow. Which direction should the current flow? This direction right? Yes. And then which direction does the main electric current flow? It is this direction. Right. Then, how should we do wiring, so that the current flows those directions? I'll try. 
Thank you. Now number 2 lamp turns on, and the PLC is notifying the machine that, number 2 is on. I become able to connect a NPN sensor. Can I try to connect, a PNP sensor? Yes of course. A load is connected to a collector. Electric currents flow these directions. So, I should do wiring like this. Then number 2 lamp turns on. Did you understand what is a NPN sensor and a PNP sensor? Yes. Thank you.